A predefined filter is a condition object available to all objects within the business layer. It is used as a predefined WHERE clause that can be inserted into the SELECT statement inferred by objects in the query panel. You can define the filter in the business layer as a native or business filter. A filter can be based on multiple objects. In this tutorial, you will create a predefined business filter using multiple objects. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0. Version 14.0.0 v 2010-1019-0760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. Create a new predefined filter in the business layer. Select the customer folder. Click the insert item list. Select filter. Define the name for the new filter and specify the type of filter. You can define the filter in the business layer as a native filter, which is built using a SQL expression, or a business filter, which is built with a selection of objects. In this tutorial, you will build a filter using the business option. Type Young UK Customers and then choose the business option. Click Edit Filter. Create a new filter using the country of origin and age group objects. Click Plus to expand the customer folder. Add country of origin to the filter. Click to drag and drop the country of origin dimension into the filter objects pane. Click in the operand text box. Select the country value to use in the filter, and add the next object. Type UK, and then click to drag and drop the age group dimension into the filter objects pane. Note that an operator is automatically added. If you need the condition to be an OR condition, you can change this by double-clicking the AN operator. In this filter example, the default AN operator is needed. Next, change the age group condition to return only UK customers that are less than or equal to 30 years of age. Click the operator list. Select less than or equal to. Click in the operand text box. Type 30 and then click OK. The new Young UK Customers filter is added to the Customer folder. You can view the filter restriction in the Filter Definition pane. Click Save. You have successfully created a predefined business filter using multiple objects. This is the end of the tutorial.